Hello, good morning everybody. Um, Going to do a little video here on our premium controller just to show everybody uh, how it pretty much hooks up. Pretty simple. Um, we just have some nice uh, small plugs on the back side. They're actually all labeled so you know what's what. You got water level indicator, water temp, water refill positive out, of course your power in, relay, ground, and then uh, it comes with a all 12 foot long cables on it and they are extendable if you need to extend them um, like I said we label pretty much everything on these just to kind of show you it's pretty much a plug and play so you really can't mess up we have our PWM wire goes here and then we got our LCD uh, amp readout here basically what happens is on our pulse width modulators that we have right here um, the units come as a pair, so it just makes it nice. And basically, what happens is you just plug these in, real simple. Just plugs right in. So that way, you got control of your pulse width modulator. And then, uh, another thing, too, we have is it's called a water refill, as you've seen on that screen there, so that you can add an additional tank to um, refill your cell or your water reservoir. And then we also got these extension cables here. This one right here says uh, water level. And basically what it is, it's a long cable that goes all the way to your water reservoir. And then you got these three connections that either hook onto your um, water reservoir or your cell, all depending on how you, how you want to hook it up. So it gives you the option to actually extend that if you need to, like I said. And then we got a temperature probe. It's got a stainless steel end on it, so you can actually either silicone that in the water reservoir or in a cell or whatever, whatever, you, however you want to do it. And of course, we have those labeled as well. And basically, all it does is just plug right into your, your temp wire here. So then you got control of that. I'll actually go ahead and hook this thing up real quick so we can show you how it really works. It's pretty simple here. Of course, this is a, a board, so it's kind of messy with all these wires. I really don't know a tech board that doesn't have a million wires all over it, but anyways, we'll just hook this up real quick so we can show you how it works. And we want these hooked up, of course, to the accessory or the ignition wire, not accessory, I'm sorry. We want the ignition wire or off of the... Uh, oil sending unit which is what I recommend just because that way in case of an accident or whatever you're gonna be able to shut these things off so show you this thing there's our temp so it's a nice feature I mean just a real smooth volume as you can see the cell accelerating getting to 28 amps 29 and what's cool about this is wherever you set your amperage at let's say you set it at 28.4 28.2 2, whatever it's going to actually hold that current there because, like I said, this is a current limiting PWM. And uh, the good thing is, is this will plug in. It's just a plug and play. You know, we do have some other features on some of our other controllers where you don't actually control the amperage. Um, we just pretty much have it set so that some of the customers, that, or actually the dealers that I have selling out there, don't want the customers to actually play with the pulse width modulator, which I, I totally understand. So. We do have some other controllers, and I'll just pull one over here to show you. I'll let you this one run for a little bit. We have our little small one. It's a plug and play too. Plugs in the same way as the other. Uh, it's our real small unit. I, mean, I actually sell a ton of these. These are really small. Real simple. As you can see, it's real small. Same thing in the back. Just plug and play. You got power ground turn on and then of course it's got the cables same thing same plugs on it these come with 12 foot as well I sell a lot of these and uh, we have another model below this one that actually does not have the volume on it well I shouldn't say volume it's actually the controller for the PWM which it is kind of like a volume but uh, Getting back to this premium controller, um, 
we did a little change on it. The water uh, refill button is really, really small because I really don't want somebody to be able to just keep pushing on that in case of accident. It's a really small little button. Basically what will happen is you do have three LEDs on this for, for indicating the uh, water level indicator. And I'll just plug that in and just do like a little quick. So basically what you would do is you have three LEDs on here. They light up off the electrolyte. So you have the three LEDs there. And basically what happens is, like I said, when the water level goes down, depending on your system, you would just hit the uh, water refill button until that third light comes up and then that's where you know where to fill it because you don't want to overfill your water reservoir. So it's kind of a neat little thing that plugs into there. And this controller also will run up to two pulse width modulators. Um, basically you do want to run one pulse width modulator for each cell. That's the best design that I, that I found so far. I mean you can run two cells off of one pulse width modulator. I don't recommend it. but. Uh, Anyways, I just thought I'd do a little video here and show people this controller. Um, we've been selling quite a bit of these. I've had a lot of requests on the, on our website for uh, people wanting to know exactly what this thing does. So I thought I would just do a little video on that to make it simple. But uh, well, that's all there is to for now. Um, have a good day, and I will talk at you later.